the oldest living tree species in eastern North America, the bald cypress, Taxodium disticum, and the Cupressaceae or cypress family. It's also the state tree of Louisiana. What is it doing in upstate New York? Well, it's also perfectly hardy as far north as northern New York, and it makes an excellent ornamental as well as being an important timber species. The foliage, the reason it's called bald cypress is that the foliage actually drops off unlike most conifers. It is not an evergreen, but the foliage turns reddish bronze in the fall and then will drop off, leaving the tree bald or bare. It is a conifer, so one should expect to see a cone. The cone is different than a typical pine cone in that it's very usual for the scales to fall off of the cone. The cones actually break apart, so you rarely see an intact cone, especially late during the growing season into the fall. All trees have very distinct bark, and the bark on bald cypress is no exception. The bark has what we call our interlacing ridges, and the texture of bark and color are very important to separate different tree species. The color, that gray to reddish color, it becomes even more gray with age, and it's a very shallow furrow, which is another really important feature to identify the bark on this tree. The form is also a very important identification feature on all trees, and the form on bald cypress is initially very pyramidal and then becomes flat topped with age. And in the south, it's draped with Spanish moss, and it's one of the most beautiful trees in natural settings of any tree in the eastern United States. It also has a very unusual feature in the most wet environments along floodplains and in deep water swamps. And it forms these projections out of the water called pneumatophores, which means breathing roots, or they might be also referred to more commonly as knees. So I brought a pair of my knees along today to show you what they look like. And this is a fairly modest example. They can often be twice the size. In this case, the bark has been stripped off in order to show the wood, the wood color of bald cypress is beautiful. Uh, the knees have actually no physiological function that we know of for bald cypress unlike for mangroves where pneumatophores are very important to allow spe the species to survive in a very flooded condition. The wood is very valuable on bald cypress, especially from the main uh, bowl of the tree. It's quite rot resistant and it was used extensively before metals were used for greenhouse benches where very rot resistant woods were needed. So the bald cypress, one of our most interesting trees in eastern North America.